Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to BBC Top Gear Mag India. In order to keep safe behind the wheel, a driver must remain attentive at all times, constantly taking note of their surroundings. While this tends to be a rather straightforward affair when driving during the day, the main complications tend to arise as the sun sets and darkness falls. Poor visibility often casts doubt when making crucial decisions from the driver's seat, posing several potential hazards. In recent years, the automotive market has seen a significant incursion of new headlight options that threaten to end the dominance of halogen lights. We throw some light on the purpose of various kinds of headlights and know how they perform. First up, halogen headlights. Halogen light is formed from a combination of argon and nitrogen gases that are trapped within a heat-resistant envelope that also contains tungsten filament. When an electrical charge is sent to the tungsten by the battery of the vehicle, the filament heats to about 2500 degrees Celsius and this ignites the glow or the light which you can see from the outside of the bulb. In short, this is what's known as the incandescence process which is similar to any electric bulb found in any household. These lights are not very efficient as most of the energy is wasted in heat generation rather than illumination. Few advantages of halogen lights is that it's low cost and easily accessible, it's simple to replace and is durable, it emits warm and bright light. Few disadvantages, more heat, it is very energy intensive and very sensitive. Next up is HID headlights. HID stands for High Intensity Discharge. When used in automotive headlight bulb, this technology lights up in a manner that isn't possible with the use of standard halogen bulbs. HID headlights forego the use of traditional filament strand. Instead, bulbs of this configuration rely upon the use of xenon gas as their source of illumination and hence can be termed as xenon lights also. Xenon in high pressure form is charged through electrical inputs from an HID headlight's high voltage electrodes. Once charged, this supply of xenon is superheated into a plasma state which eventually produces a high right, right blue or white illumination. Once charged, this supply of xenon is superheated into a plasma state which eventually produces a rich light blue or white illumination. Most HID headlight units are used in conjunction with projector beam assemblies which are intended to concentrate the light and direct the beam onto a predefined path. Overall, HID headlights serve as a better and viable alternative to the standard bulb. In the majority of instances, properly installed HID headlights produce two to three times more light than halogen bulbs while accounting for less draw on the vehicle's battery and alternators. Few advantages are that HID lights consume less power than halogens and are brighter than halogen lights. They have a longer lifespan with greater efficiency. Few disadvantages of the HID headlamps can be that its intense glare can blind the oncoming traffic and HID lights are relatively expensive than halogen bulbs. Coming on to LED headlights. LED stands for light emitting diode. While LED technology has been used in various applications over the past decades, lighting of this type within the automotive industry has recently gained substantial popularity. Out of all the headlights on the market, LED undergoes the most unusual process to generate light. Inside a LED headlamp, negative electrons run against holes in a semiconductor to produce a light-emitting diode, hence the light's name. When the electron enters a low-energy hole, a photon is released. This process is also known as electroluminescence. This frequency at which this process occurs is thousands of times per second. This is what produces the LED light. LED headlights do not make use of pressurized gases within their design, as is the case in both halogen and HID headlights. Instead, 
LED headlights discharged light through semiconductors or diodes. However, LED headlights also come in a number of different individual colors. These varying colors are created through the use of colored lenses, which when applied over a bulb's individual diode emits the color of the preference. The legality of non-standard colored LED headlights generally differs by state. Its advantages are that it's brighter than the lot, it does not glare like HID and is very energy efficient. Its disadvantages is, is that it produces much heat and hence require a more complex cooling system. And it is definitely expensive than the rest of the lot. And finally, moving on to laser headlights. The most recent of innovations in the headlight segment is the laser light which debuted in the early 2010s and has since then been aggressively promoted by Audi and BMW in the European market. Out of all the headlight types we have covered so far, laser lights are the closest thing to prophecy fulfillment for the futuristic sci-fi of decades long past. While lasers are considered dangerous, actual lasers play a minuscule role in the luminescence of laser lights as they actually rely more on phosphor to create the light. Looking at something like the laser headlight found in the BMW i8, three blue lasers shoot through the tiny mirrors which in turn point the energy onto a phosphor plate or lens. When interacting with lasers, phosphor generates white light. This light is then relayed onto a reflector and then of course onto the road. As a result, Laser headlights project with far more clarity than any other type of vehicle lighting solution available on the market. This can prove quite helpful while navigating through winding hazardous roads during low visibility. The advantages of laser lights is that they have optimal brightness, they have an extended range and are quite energy efficient. Few disadvantages are that it generates a lot of heat they are expensive and are not available as dual beam. If you've liked the content so far, hit the like button, share it with your friends and stay tuned to BBC Top Gear Mag India for more content.